सॉल्व एक्स क्यूब माइनस सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस लेवन एक्स माइनस सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो टू सॉल्व दिस वी हैव टू चेंज द एक्स टर्म दैट इज लेवन एक्स इन दिस वे इन प्लेस ऑफ लेवन एक्स आई विल राइट प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स एक्स clear in place of 11x i have written plus 5x plus 6x next what can you take out common from these three terms is x so here you get x square and here you get 6x here you get plus 5 now what can you take out common from these two is 6 so you get x minus 1 equal to 0 next this is a quadratic so let us factorize this quadratic equation here so that is x square minus 6 x plus 5 to factorize this i have to change the x term that is minus 6 x So here one into five is five. Five plus one is six. So to get minus six x, I should write minus one x minus five x plus five. So now what can you take out common from these two terms? X. You get x minus one. Here you got x minus one means here also you should get x minus one. From this, x has gone inside means outside is minus five. now take out x minus 1 common so here i get x and here it is minus 5 now in place of this quadratic i replace this one over here clear so let us replace x in place of this quadratic this one x minus 1 x minus 5 Plus six times x minus one equal to zero. Now, what can be taken out common in this entire equation is x minus one. So you, here I get x times x minus five, and here I get plus six equal to zero. So now x minus one. here you open up the bracket in this way so that is x square x times 5 is 5x plus 6 equal to 0 here i got quadratic so i will factorize this quadratic equation here so that is x square minus 5x plus 6 to factorize this quadratic i have to change the middle term That is minus five x. One into six is six. Two plus three is five. So now in place of minus five x, I will write minus two x minus three x plus six. Now from these two take out x common. You get x minus two. Here you got x minus two means here also it should be x minus two. So from this x is gone inside means outside is minus three. So now take out x minus two common. So here left with x and here left with minus three. Now in place of this quadratic, I replace this one over here. Clear? Let us replace. So what do I get? X minus one. In place of this quadratic, this one. X minus two. And x minus three equal to zero. Okay, more. They told you to solve. That means you need to find the values for x. Here, this bracket product is equal to zero. So to get the values for x, equate each bracket to zero. That is, x minus one equal to zero. X minus two equal to zero. x minus three equal to zero. 
so now to get x you add 1 on both sides so i get x equal to plus 1 here to get x you add 2 on both sides so x is 2 here to get x you add 3 on both sides so we get x is 3 this is our answer am i clear